Collective. Welcome aboard. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your beautiful, wonderful messages, support. Thank you for your donations once again. And um, thank you for wishing my mother a happy birthday as well. Thank you. I forgot to mention that the other day. Um, and welcome to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, I welcome you to join the tribe. All right. And these are general messages for the collective. So not all will resonate. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And if it resonates for you, please give it a like. All right. Let's see. Now, what I was getting, the song, good vibrations here, okay? Not the song, but some good energy here. I was getting to hip to be square. Dun, 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 dun. It's the power of love. So the power of love is hitting you, okay? Well, you're walking in that love frequency, that love vibration, and you're just too hip to be square, or at least this is what people are picking up on, okay? So we're going to see what this energy is all about. It's very vibrant. It's very, well, hip, <laughs> okay? I don't know. Maybe you guys are, like, really happy. I'm feeling the energy, okay? Very good. So I wanted to do a reading. To see what's going on with you guys. What are you attracting? Um, that you're so happy? Could just be, you know, people are, are seeing that you are, I don't know, in your element, in, in, in a good vibration. Like you've been doing a lot of work, healing, you're, you're going through a, a good moment in your life. And, you know, there may be some haters. Like, ah, she thinks she's too good. Because I'm getting that from you, too hip to be square. <laughs> so I feel like you're very selective with who you're, you know, inviting into your life at this point. And some people may be bitter by that. Some people may admire you for that. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit. What's, what's going on with all this? There was another song that I was also hearing, but hopefully it'll come back to me. Alright, what's going on? Oh, mysticism. Yeah. So you're a deep thinker? Okay. You're all about the stars, the cosmos, the universe, what makes people tick. Creative soul, deep soul. Possibly a loner here. Happy. Happy to be you at this time. Very nice. Let's see what else here? Balanced. Yep. When you see these haters. <laughs> It's like, why, why, why is she or he so happy? What's this newfound sense of self? <laughs> why, why can't we chill? Or, you know, as you think, he, she or he thinks she all that, he all that, that they, they're too good for us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, here you walk in, right? You're all balanced and, you know, truthful. You're about truth and fairness and these people are like oh, whatever man uh, rah, 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 you know <laughs> I mean look at the, the hater faces man they feel maybe they feel judged by you <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I still got that allergy hang on a second let's do something about that You know, I can only chew on so many cough drops. And it's been so windy outside, it's like throwing it all around. Alright. So what I'm seeing, people that are complacent, right? They're feeling a little, uh, maybe a little triggered or a little bit like... Uh, you just make because it, your energy is balanced, right? You're 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 a deep thinker. You you see things 
from a higher perspective, a deeper perspective. So, you know, you walk in all balanced and truthful and, you know, you speak about things that, you know, these people just, they're just kind of stuck, okay, with complacency here. And it's like they, it's almost like they don't even like when you walk into a room. Um, those who, who know of you, okay, um, and maybe some new people. But there are some people that you used to know. Yeah, I'm getting that song. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody. Yeah. <laughs> and they're kind of hating. It's funny because they didn't like when you walked into a room, but yet you separate yourself from this pack. And they feel some type of way about that. It's like now you think you all that. But that that is a, a self-worth issue on their part okay clearly so let's see what else they have yeah abundance <laughs> they're like i don't understand why does everything seem to be going well for you okay you got these people over here you know maybe you know drinking toxic they don't have the key to open up their abundance but you see they have the same ability to do so but if you're just going to sit in toxicity and not get move away from this and get you know grounded balanced then you're not going to have the key to an abundant life because their life isn't abundant but it has to do with the lack of inner work and they're looking at you like they don't get it. Be then they can't get it till they till they do something about it. <laughs> Instead of watching your whole life pass them by and how you're doing what you're doing, we all have all the right all the right tools. We just gotta learn how to use them and you know it starts from going within. Let's do one more. I mean, mysticism, balance, and abundance. You're aligned. And it doesn't matter how much you have or how little you have. It's like a lifestyle. It's an energy that you're in that it doesn't, like, it attracts good things no matter where you're at, you're at in life. You're happy. You don't have to be filthy rich. I mean, money is not what makes you happy, right? But you're in the energy of definitely attracting it. But you're attracting more than just that. You're attracting an abundant life. <laughs> People are like, oh, she or he, they must be doing something. This can't be. There's something they're doing with trickery. <laughs> they think you're, you're, you're like... See, some people, they think that you're doing... Because some people have this mentality that you have to be doing something shady in order to be stable in life. I don't know where people's, I mean, I, I, you know, that this comes from conditioning and watching, you know, people do bad things that make big amounts of money, but they got to understand that those situations are temporary and karma always catches up to them. It don't matter how filthy rich somebody gets. If they're doing it in a shady way, they might have gotten away with that for years. But you know what was happening in the background? Karma was just stacking, stacking, stacking up. And, you know, sometimes God gives you the opportunity to redeem yourself if you just continue to do something shady and shady and shady to keep making money. But when he takes it away, because what God gives, he takes it away. When he takes it away after giving you chances to redeem yourself, to speak your truth, to stop taking advantage of people, um, to, to live a rich life, wow, he, he pulls a rug from underneath you. And you will be left broke, lost, and disgusted, and in regret. That is how it works. And, and that's also the rules of universal law you get what you put out right what goes around comes around you know 
you attract who you are. So a lot of people have this mentality that the only way to get rich is to do something shady. Or the only way to have a stable life is to do something shady. Imagine you have no peace of mind because you know you're doing shady things. You're riddled with anxiety at the end of the day. You know you are because at some point you have this fear that it will catch up to you. So, and these people are living in this scarcity mindset. So, which is why they do all this, their, this trickery themselves. But you are doing it from a, a different place. Because you're connected to something, you know, to the spirit room, to the cosmos. You're understanding, you took a different path. So, what I'm seeing here is you becoming, whether it triggers people that have that mentality or not, you are becoming an inspiration and actually showing, unbeknownst to you, a different way to look at abundance and to gain abundance, prosperity, in your life just by by the things you're doing it doesn't matter what they think whether they think you're doing trickery that's a projection of what they feel it takes to live this type of life whether you're wealthy or you're just you know you're content with what you have in in whatever it is you have you don't have to be filthy rich like I said to be content you don't So I feel like these people are like, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm hearing I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. <laughs> it's like, how do I get on this? <laughs> you know, you got people scratching their head like, okay, well, do I have abundance? Uh, do I have a purpose? You know, and they're like, what the hell? I mean, there's a dragon here, the dragon, and there's also an acorn. Um, and, you know, fertility, wealth cornucopia energy you know you're planting seeds you have a basket of acorns here I'm also seeing that somebody even may try to trick you so that you can give them your acorns you know what I mean you know where to get the acorns you have a basket here and then you have this dragon and it's almost like with their claw here, they're trying to, like, do some sort of trickery so that, you know, sleight of hand kind of energy so that they can take your acorns. You see, he's got a big old acorn here. So, okay, I'm seeing a lot in this card. So somebody may even try to, like, distract you over here. Yeah, the sleight of hand. So you're looking at this huge acorn. Here you are with a basket of tiny acorns. And he's got this huge acorn over here. And you're like, oh, if only I had that acorn. Somebody said, <laughs> I'll trade you this big, this basket of mine for that big acorn. And then as soon as you get it, it goes up in smoke. Poof. Because it was an illusion. So there's somebody here. <laughs> Maybe they've been trying to trick you for some time. Or they're coming up with a plan to trick you. You know. <laughs> That's not how it works, man. <laughs> Yeah, you have a lot of gratitude, okay? You birth a lot of things into fruition. Um, and, and, and that's exactly why, because you have gratitude. <laughs> the universe is very good to those who have gratitude for everything that they have, no matter how big or small. Um, this is too funny. There could be someone here that is an earth dragon, And, you know, it's the year of the dragon, yes, but, like, somebody here, I'm also getting, like, someone lost their treasure, and they're trying to take yours, because they did trickery. Who the fuck? What? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Oh, I just saw 1444. Okay, so I'm talking to the 144 here for sure. Somebody trying to trick you because they're toxic. They're not doing the healing work. They want what you have without doing the work, but they want to take it from you. Kind of energy. Oh boy. 
What's behind that? We have quest. Yeah. You took the path less traveled. Okay. With gratitude. Despondence. Again, I'm just getting like content and then you you know you see this person's face here. That hater vibe. And something is dissipating. Yeah, you got people like spying. Yeah, insecurity. Connected to the devil. Right? Low vibrational. Um, you know, toxic behavior. Trauma bonds. And I feel like somebody was trying to spy. Some of you are being spied through your... Um, some of you could be... I would be careful with TV. I also heard something about uh, like those Roku and Fire Stick things. Uh, you may want to watch some videos on that on YouTube because, um, you know, they spy through the phone and the TVs, especially these smart TVs. So, yeah, I would take a look at that. You have somebody here that has been like spying on you, but it's not just one person. It's a few people. And they feel some type of way about your abundance, your path, but you're creating your path. It's meant for you. And there's always the trickster, you know, along the way, you know, the wolf in the woods type of energy trying to take and trick you from from what you're establishing because they're trying to take shortcuts they're not they don't want to do the inner work they don't want to believe in anything other than what they believe but they're just focused on the material gain and that's what i'm seeing here let's see what's going on here all i know is that you to hit to be square then Da, na, na, na. <laughs> it's the power of love. The highest frequency of all is love. If they can't get to that frequency, they're lost. They're lost in the sauce. <laughs> Five of Wands. <laughs> A lot of people that don't believe in what you believe in. Creating drama, conflict, wherever you go, triggering people. Yep. But you you're, you ain't even looking that way. Okay, you're trying to figure out, okay, what's in this other door here? You're moving like midnight over here. Like, um, you're. I feel like you're cloaked by spirit. You're protected as well. They can't even see you passing by. They're too busy... Um, Scheming. <laughs> These people are too busy scheming that they don't even know. They they, they don't even see you. <laughs> Walk on by. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you are cloaked by spirit, man. Oh my goodness. This is this is just too funny. <laughs> Uh -huh. balance between your <laughs> your divine feminine your divine masculine your yin your yang the light and the shadow yes you can be both I mean balance with the high priestess they don't understand where you're getting this wisdom they don't understand you because they don't want to do the work they don't want to be in balance with their mind and their heart the pillars of strength. Oh man. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Exactly. <laughs> Unconditional love, self love, self worth. Abundant. Connected to the divine. Compassion. Self love. I mean. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of people that secretly would love to offer you a cup of love like you know what i mean extend their their love to you 
But it's almost like they're too busy thinking that there's competition over here instead of actually making the move. But I feel there's somebody here that will make a move. Wow. Look at this. What did I say? Somebody trying to steal your money. Your inheritance, your birthright, Ten of Pentacles. So somebody's trying to energetically take what's yours. But this is, this is, <laughs> you see how high vibrational you are, right? And what's blessed to you, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, High Priestess. You see, there's a lot of people wanting to make some sort of offer here. But they're all busy thinking that you either already have someone because you're a mystery as well. They don't know if someone is um, entertaining you. So they're so caught up in their head and having a lot of inner conflict trying to come to you that... But you got to be careful because there's trickery here. You know, some people, there is somebody here that is extending love. But some people are trying to take your inheritance. Universal birthright. Your treasure. Right? The dragon has treasure. And this dragon lost his treasure. Okay? And you over here, one with nature, you understand where the acorns are at. And somebody's trying to give you a bigger, like... It's almost like they're trying to maybe propose something to you, maybe by even an opportunity. Oh, I can do this for you. I can I can help you make this which you already have. You're spiritually wealthy, okay? But you're being cloaked right now. So this may not be in your reality in this way just yet. But you are abundant. It'll manifest itself in, you know, everything you touch turns to gold kind of energy. What you put your mind to, okay? You're a blessing, okay? And dragons in Chinese zodiac are considered to be blessings in, in a household. So is the snake. Um, and you are a blessing. But it's because you have really good karma because you've been doing the inner work and you took the path less traveled. The path of faith. Okay? The path of soul evolution. And somebody here is definitely trying to show you something in a way that seems uh, to, definitely too good to be true, first off. So that they can um, bind themselves to your karma because you have good karma. And whoever this is will take from you and leave you with bad karma. So whoever that is, be careful. There's a wolf in sheep's clothing here. <laughs> Look at all these people in regret. Because they see you now abundant. You got a lot of people here in regret. With the five of wands. They didn't treat you right. When they had the chance. Okay. And they're in regret. Because now they see that you're too hip to be square. Right. You're happy. You're abundant. And your life is looking pretty good. From what they can see. Alright. We all go through ups and downs. Nobody's saying your life is perfect. But from what they can see. And from what spirit can see because you've been doing the inner work and you can see it's a whole hell of a lot better than it ever was okay and don't worry if you're going through the dark night of the soul because we're all on different levels it it will get better page of wands yeah you're over here like doo -doo -doo, you know being creative starting new things you know uh cleaning around the house um, I'm also hearing step up to the microphone, you know, speaking your truth perhaps here. Looking good. Some of you, they wonder what you're doing that you look young. Yeah, it must be trickery. <laughs> yeah, seven of cups. You're about to meet the one. 
Ace of Cups, that is the one out of all these cups. You're about to meet the one here. You got somebody scratching their head like, what the hell? They're confused. Somebody here is confused because somebody here drinks too much also is what I'm seeing. Whoever is around, you know, whoever was around you or somebody that's really like obsessed with what you're doing in your life, um, they're toxic and they're confused. They don't understand this whole abundant thing. And be careful. Somebody may even want to put something in your drink. Like take you out, put something in your drink. Yeah, be careful with that. Yeah, whoever is trying to figure something else. Like how you do what you do. They're they're all like, oh, maybe this. And no, no, maybe that. Well, no, maybe they do it this one. No, 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 wait. They're, <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but yeah, you have you have new love coming in. And whoever is coming in, I feel like that person is very abundant, very aligned with your energy. It, 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 yeah, somebody's trying to break your heart here. There's a heartbreaker here. Trying to create illusions. This is somebody immature that was in regret, treated you like an option. Or this is somebody trying to come into your life and that's how they will treat you. But you're not going to let them, not in the energy you're in. Ace of Pentacles. We have another offer. What I'm getting is people are seeing that you are a gift. You were a gift in their life. When you presented themselves yourself in their life, they didn't appreciate it. And now they're in regret. They're like, damn, you know, I had a chance to get to know this person. I had a chance to um, know what they were about. I had a chance to, you know, maybe ask them out or or maybe treat them better. Whether this is friends, families, or, or, or romantic um, potential, you know, romance. But when you were there... They weren't interested. Five of Wands, it was more than one person. Or maybe they were just too focused on other people. Somebody here dropped the ball big time. And that could be the person trying to trick you right now. As well. Knight of Swords. Somebody's trying to, like, um, get you off this balance like they would love to like push your buttons is what i'm seeing here because somebody may try to communicate with you and it's coming out of left field it's like they want to tell you how they feel but they keep it to themselves and it's because they're triggered by you because the knight of swords can be kind of flighty you know coming out of you know the side of his neck kind of energy with the way they communicate very um unpredictable there's somebody here like that that would love to like just take a stab at you or something you know with their words you don't care six of swords yeah paradise island a new day calm waters again being close by spirit moved away from something into the you know the promised land over here paradise island and somebody's just like, what the fuck? Somebody's confused about how much your life has changed. Like, how much you have changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody's going, <laughs> man. Whoever this person is, with judgment here, they have bad karma. And they're already under judgment. They're being watched. So they, again, they were stripped of everything, as you can see here. And now they're looking at you to take what you got. Ain't gonna happen. They're being watched. This could be somebody you knew. Or this could be somebody trying to come into your life because they have really bad karma. And they're unhealed. Yeah, exactly. Because you're the queen of pentacles. Grounded. Self-sufficient. Independent. You have self-worth. Self-love. You 
could be working out, eating good, caregiver energy, stable, connected to nature. Yeah. Yeah, somebody here trying to play the victim, trying to lie and deceive, trickery, trying to tell you they got feelings, they're trying to steal. Okay, trying to steal that coin you got there. That's the kind of the same depiction as this dragon right here with trickery and this squirrel. Just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Uh huh. Yeah, they've been pondering what they're going to do here, approaching slowly, cautiously. But you're on your destined path with spirit. You will have things to celebrate. There you go. Happy to, to be square here. here. I mean, look at that. You're in the right path, that's for sure. You're, you're on your destined path. And whoever betrayed you over here because they were on an ego trip and they wanted to be looked at as, you know, the one on top. They're going through karma. You're the one being admired. Okay. So whoever betrayed you here, you're being admired. Six of Wands with the Queen of Wands and the Magician. You're manifesting a soulmate. Okay. Yeah, the Chariot. I feel like that's the new love coming in. You're going to be talking. Yeah, somebody here is... Uh, Again, sleepless nights, anxiety, trying to figure something out but can't on how to court you here or how to, you know, what to say. Because they know you're all about truth and fairness. And you'll be Lorena Bobbitt on their ass if that's what they're trying to pull, this, this giving you their, uh, you know, their lustful energy. Yeah. Look at this, talking all this shit. <laughs> Five of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Somebody in the past. People from the past. I see it here. They're talking so much shit. Yeah. Exactly. Low vibrational energies with a limited pers perspective on life. Bound to the devil. Okay? You're on it. Yeah. You walked away from these people. You, you, you broke some sort of, you broke free of whatever this is. You're no longer bound to that. Definitely. All right, let's talk about this new love approaching. Who is this? I'm searching for a real love. Someone has set my heart with real love. Ooh, I'm searching for a real love. I like it. New love. Let's talk about a spirit. Who's this new love approaching for the collective? Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups, walking away. You also could have presented um, your love to somebody here. And they were too busy, focused on everything else. And you left. You said, see ya. But what I'm getting here is there is someone new. Yep. Somebody may want to manifest you. And um, they're leaving something behind here. Single, independent, nine of pentacles. King of cups. And again, that could be a different king of cups, okay? Three of pentacles. Somebody gonna be jealous. Because what does it say there? Player one wins. Somebody's jealous. So that, that king of cups could be the one that's jealous, but they're full of trickery. Yeah, in regret. Mm -hmm. See, this person's in regret because now they see that you were a gift. That they could have had it all with you. But they're in the energy of hate, jealousy. 
and wanting to win at all costs. They're in the energy of competing with you and lost miserably with the Five of Cups because they were in that energy. You took the high road. You took the path of love, compassion. Okay, but tell me about this new person. Yeah, exactly. Queen of Wands, you're confident. You were patient. You went through a glow up. And you're balanced. And you closed, you came full circle with this devil. You closed that chapter. And now you're moving on, making new friends, you know, living life. All right. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, this new cycle. We have a Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. We have the Moon, okay, and something about that solar eclipse. Okay, so something new is coming. This may have come as a shock with the Tower and the Moon. Ten of Wands. This person's leaving something behind. Yep. Ace of Cups. Okay. So, whoever's coming into your life here, they were going through something. Maybe they're the ones that closed out this chapter with a Queen of Wands. Okay, that makes sense. I see. Yeah. So, they're walking away and manifesting you. They were with someone that saw them like they were in competition with them. And it's like they can't stand seeing this person win in life. So definitely they were with the wrong person. And it looks like whoever they were with, like this person is successful. And whoever they were with, this Queen of Wands they were with. Um, this is a Queen of Wands in reverse with the devil here. And the Five of Swords. A karmic. Um, whoever they were with. And I feel like this person's really successful. They have good work ethic. Maybe they have awards or something. Um, favored in their career. And this person was hating, secretly hating on this person. See, when you look at your partner as a competition, that's just the wrong energy and the wrong fucking type of connection. And those are karmic situations. And I feel like they were also being manipulated and they walked away here. Some of them could have had a child with that karmic. Or some of them um, are protecting like their inner child. They came full circle with that. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, so something happened through this solar eclipse that brought some clarity and they, and they dropped this burden. So I feel like somebody has recently been single because we do have the Nine of Pentacles here. And this is your new partner that's coming into play with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they've been through a lot with the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior here. Yep, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. This is new love for sure. This is a crush could be. This could also be a kindred type of connection, a soulmate. They're watching, yeah. Yeah, with a smile on their face. Ace, uh, I mean, excuse me, the sun. Three of Cups, they may want to take you out. Ace of Wands. Yeah. They see potential here with you. Yep. Definitely. King of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. This is somebody that, that is looking for to settle down marriage. Clearly, whoever they were with, they couldn't marry. Because of all the arguments and, and um, control issues here and the um, wanting to win at all costs. That's not somebody this person um, could have married. It was a lesson. They figured that out. They're loving themselves more. But they see you as a potential life partner. This is somebody that commits. Okay, they could be wealthy. Some of you, they could be in the public eye. They want to say hi. <laughs> Okay, they could envision you and them getting married as well. They're going through transformation. Yep. Somebody's changing. This person could also, yeah, 
be very youthful, charismatic. I feel like you are as well. Yeah, they are wealthy. Okay, so this person has really good karma. They are wealthy with the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. They're going through a transformation. They're very creative, very youthful spirit. Definitely kindred spirit vibes. Okay. They got off the roller coaster here with this low vibrational energy with the devil. They're no longer bound to this lies, deception that was going on there. You know, it was like this is how they looked the whole time in their relationship. Well, the other person was just like, you know, creating havoc for this person and they just were not comfortable in that connection ever. Yeah. Withdrew from this lover and they want to see, they want to come see you. Yeah, they're in hermit mode. They're learning about um, possibly twin flame or soul connections. Okay, you turn this person on. They want to create a, a um, you know, the right picture this time when it comes to love. This person could work out a lot. Yeah, justice, knight of pentacles with the sun. I feel like you are each other's justice. And with justice and balance here... You're both about justice and fairness. So, yeah, this person is learning how to be strategic in their life when it comes to um, these low vibrational energies. This person could have also went through some uh, spiritual warfare because of that person they were with. Wheel of Fortune with the Sun and the Two of Pentacles. Something is shifting for the better. King of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. This person may like give you a like on social media or say something or text you I don't, I, with the fool. They're definitely taking a leap of faith. This is what they want. They've been looking at it for a while. Okay, they may have to travel to see you. This is a very attractive person too. Very successful. They could like to cook. They may want to cook you something. Yeah, Six of Wands. They admire you, or they're very admired. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to get to the Empress with the King of Swords. This is this is um this is a wise person too. I feel like this is an Emperor. Yeah, Queen and King of Swords with the Empress and Judgment. They know you're very smart, very astute, but they definitely see you as wish fulfillment. Six of Cups. I feel that soulmate energy. They feel like you are their soulmate. But there's also somebody in the past here, Mr. Player with the Seven of Cups, that has a, a limited perspective here um, that you moved on from and learned a hard lesson from because you healed. And yeah, definitely, you reflected on it. Yeah. You're going to be in a relationship. Six of Pentacles. Uh, pentacles with somebody that you have reciprocity with. I see marriage here with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Chariot. Strong Cancer energy there, but Scorpio as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Also, I see Aquarius. Everybody's here. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Leo, Aries, Sag, Pisces. Everybody's here. Everybody. Okay, so you could be any sign is what I mean by that. What does this person have to say? I am curious. So tell me about this um, very well-rounded um, person coming into your life. Yep, soulmate. Yes, this person is your soulmate. Your connection is sacred. There it is. All right, what else? Make the effort, which they will. This love is worth taking a risk. You are called to move forward. They are single now. Yeah. They went different paths with the person they were with. They went full circle. You are not on the same page with the person you have, min have in mind. The directions you want to move into are different. And they got that. That's why the world is here. And they closed the chapter on that devil. This person could have been attractive. But they were the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so they're no longer there. And they're staying optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you, will bring romance into your life. 
<laughs> All right, collective. Yeah, they letting it go. They let it go already. If someone leaves you confused more than comfort comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. And they did leave this person like in the Seven of Cups energy as well is what I see here. And they feel like they found you now. They found the one. Okay, so this person is watching you. All right, let's get some messages from this person. I like it. I like it a lot. So they see you too hip to be square. They want to be too hip to be square. <laughs> this person's doing the work collective. You are you guys are aligning. This is great. So you've been making the right choices in your life. Don't look back. It's all about forward movement and allowing spirit to guide you. Listen to your intuition. All right. I want to show you off to the world. Oh, snap. This person is going to be proud to have you. Okay, they're going to show you off. I love that you are different and unique. And you are. You're a mystic. I've been looking for someone like you. Look at that. So you know this person is very different themselves, even if they show up to the world in a specific way because of their career. This is somebody very admired, very attractive, very charming, charismatic, young at heart energy, kindred spirit type of connection here for sure, because I see that in you as well. Um, and this person I feel is very wise, and I feel like they also question the deeper meaning of life, and they've been looking for somebody like you. Because they haven't been connect, connecting um, to people in the way they have wanted to. If anything, this person might have ran into a lot of narcissists. Um, and they're ready to get off that narcissistic karmic wheel. Okay? Understanding their worth and what they want out of life. So I feel like you could have came in like a ray of sunshine. Because we did see the sun. And you brought faith to this person again. Energy doesn't lie. I know you are the truth. There you go. This person sees you for who you really are. The good thing about that is that it doesn't matter who tries to sway them another way. They, they have their own mind, make their own decisions, and they see things for what it is. This person is very wise, very, very much in control of their life, especially after this connection they just went through. Huh. They ain't going to be fooled again. They're adventurous. And, or they see you as adventurous. And exactly, you stimulate their mind. So they could be sapiosexual type of energy. I feel like you're meeting somebody that, that you can learn from and vice versa. I go with the flow. They're going to go with the flow when they come to you. Yeah, there you go. Charismatic, fun, and flirty. There it is. You inspire me. There you go. They definitely see you as charismatic, fun, and flirty. You stimulate their mind, and they may see you as someone that goes with the flow. They like that. Okay? Down-to-earth kind of energy. Homebody, let me be your cuddle bear. So this is somebody that will cuddle with you, watch movies with you, but also take you places. Because they're also adventurous. So a little bit of both. Okay? I feel a sense of alignment and intimacy with you. You're definitely going to feel that with this one. You feel it with each other. That's beautiful. I love everything about you inside and out. Look at that. This person been doing his research on you. They're a bit of a rebel with a cause, or this is how they see you. And someone you can trust. Okay. They'd like to see you. But remember, this person may take a little bit because they just went through a breakup. Uh, you were just my type. So they may uh, they may want to take things slow, get to know you first. Um, but yeah, you are just their type. If you only knew how long I've been crushing on you. So this could have been a long time coming, but they couldn't do nothing because they were in a connection. I'm all yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I am all yours. I am free. How do you look this good? Yeah. <laughs> I would move mountains so that we can come together. 
Yep. And they do tend to get in their head sometimes. But they love your simplicity. And uh, they feel deeply connected to you. So they feel something here. You guys may be dreaming about each other. And I think about our first kiss. They definitely want that. And uh, I more than like what I see. They could also see you as someone very strong. I love a strong woman with a touch of vulnerability. And uh, of course, they want that kiss. And they know when I finally kiss you, they know they're done for. Okay, they know this is love. They know this is about love here. There is a lot of potential here. All right. Let's get just a few more messages and we'll leave it at that collective. Love is here. You're meeting your the one. Okay. And be careful with, you know, any any tricksters in the past. You know, it's Mercury retrograde, you know, trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Sigh of hand energy. It you know, I, I, I just went and I started thinking about somebody You know, I used to I used to bartend, and uh, you know, you're bartending, you're at a bar, you're gonna you're gonna meet a lot of low vibrational energies, toxic energies, and I got away from bartending because all I kept seeing, and it's a, like a vicious cycle. You know, you bartend, and, and in some bars you can hang out after you work. And, you know, I also worked in the hospitality industry and in other things, and it was a vicious cycle because, you know, people want to hang out after work and vent because, you know, you had, like, bad customers or something like that. And, you know, you get into this um, energy of always hanging out and, you know, everything, <laughs> you know, you make money and then you end up spending most of it because you're out, you know, hanging out and, and having cocktails. And... This one particular place that I worked, I used to frequent before I worked there. So I knew a lot of people that went there. And you start seeing people that pass away. And all they ever did was go to work and go to the bar. Go to work and go to the bar. Go to work and go to the bar. And the amount of alcohol that they were drinking, I mean, you, you know it eventually will cause major damage um, mentally physically and emotionally because a lot of people that are depressed drink because they're trying to not focus on the depression or even sometimes people sometimes don't even know they're going through depression but they end up doing toxic things um, which only furthers that depression uh, there's just you know they're always numb because of the alcohol so they don't pay attention to it but you know there's a few people that I've known that have passed away because they had health issues and there was one in particular that I was thinking about and you know good person he was always nice to me and he went to the doctor because he had issues and the doctor said that I think he had um, some sort of cancer he, he was a heavy smoker, too. And he's talking to me and a friend of mine at the time about this. And the doctor told him that he needs to not drink so much coffee. <laughs> and, you know, he's still, even after the diagnosis, he's still at the bar every day and drinking. Like, I think his, he used to drink some really heavy liquor with um, beer as well but a lot of shots and again he smokes a lot he used to smoke a lot and I'm thinking to myself so you're at the bar still even though the doctor told you like you have some you know this whatever cancer it was I don't remember and the one thing you want to give up is coffee like I'm thinking to myself 
And and I'm just like, you know, in in my mentality, I would give up. I would give it all up, and 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 try to heal myself somehow. And you know, you start seeing stuff like that, and and you know, it really puts things into perspective. And you and you start telling yourself, you know, that this this just this environment is not for me. You know, what am I doing here, right? Like, what positive is coming out of this? Not only that, but I'm bartending. And I'm just really handing down something toxic to somebody else. So, you know, I started like, this was before, like, my awakening. And, you know, but it was coming, right? I started thinking about my life and everything, you know, where I was in life at that time. That was, that was many years ago now, but... It's, you know, you start putting things into perspective and it just, you know, you, you do a complete 180. And I don't know why I went into all of that. Uh, maybe some of you, like, that's what, you know, you turned your whole life around because of certain things, because of certain types of people that were around you. Um, this person from your past could be that kind of person, like, just really toxic. And you could have met them within a toxic environment. Um, but because you have turned your life around. And you have like purified your energy, balanced your energy. And you're more self-aware, right? You, you took a look at the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror. Um, you're attracting better. And of course, if there are people that you left behind you know, at least they feel that way, that are still at the bar every day and they're still stagnant and stuck, hating on you for moving on. Like I said in the beginning, everybody has the same tools to do their same thing in their life, but it's just a matter of picking up and doing it instead of just saying, oh, you know, I'm not thinking about quitting this and quitting that. Just do it. You know, they can, they can do it instead of hating on you and trying to trick you out of your your abundance, your birthright. But anyways, let's get back to this new person. Um, I just feel like also this person, they could have been with a toxic person like this and they're about to turn their life around or they are. Oh, but this person is a really good person. They're very empathic. I can see that here. They're not toxic. They walked away from someone toxic. Now, clearly there was a lesson there. So there was something that they had to look at. And something became very clear, I feel, after that lunar and solar eclipse. Somewhere in the middle, I feel something became clear. Because this feels like a very recent breakup, okay? Whoever you're meeting here. to do this again because all right I am no runner I have my own mind and make my own decisions <laughs> didn't I say that yeah definitely I've been hurt recently there you go and they have you are a welcome surprise there you go. Do you feel the same? That is definitely something they were going to find out. They want to find out. There is a connection here. Spirit is bringing you guys together. It is a soulmate. Your energy makes me tingle when I dream of you. Look at that. You're dreaming of each other. Ooh, naughty thoughts. Uh-huh. I want to settle down with you. I told you this, this is somebody looking for a wife. Or you are somebody looking for a wife. Or somebody looking for a husband. Either way, take it how it resonates. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is new love. My friends are rooting for me. So there you go. This is good. Okay? You know this person keeps good friendships. This person is wise. They are not with the toxicity. They are seeing things from a higher perspective. And if they have to cut anybody in their life out, they will. 
okay? Just as you did. There's a strong person, strong soul. I'm noticing signs and synchronicities that are leading me to you. Look at that. Here you are. <laughs> so they're following the signs all the way to you, collective. Yes, they are. Is someone else loving you? They really want to know this. Do you feel the same? Is someone else loving you? I found you. Wow. Strictly platonic, but they want it all with you. They are going to take their time because they've been recently hurt. And, you know, they, they want to know that their intuition is right, of course. So they're not going to jump right in. But trust me, this person is your person and they know it. They feel it. You're both going to know it when you see each other face to face. They want it all with you. After they get to know you and, and it's validated, this is a keeper. It's all mine. <laughs> <coughs> Wow. <laughs> you know what I got with that cough? My goodness. Somebody's going to be really upset. Because the way that came out of my body. Oh my God. Somebody here is going to be very upset. It's like somebody does did not. I mean I know I have like allergies. But the way that came out was weird. All right. It doesn't matter. They found you. It is what it is. Yeah. It's all mine. I don't care what other people think or say. There you go. I want to spend some quality time with you. And I'm going to love you like you've never been loved before. Let's make it happen. All right, Collective. I mean... You are aligning with someone amazing here. And you are amazing. And they see that. They know this. This person will not be swayed by naysayers. This, this is a really good person. Beautiful. Alright guys. I'm going to leave it there. That's what I have for you. I'm going to go ahead and take another cough drop over here. Um, and maybe some elderberry syrup. Even though it's not a cold, it's just like allergies. But the cough is driving me nuts. Alright. I hope this resonates with you. Let me know in the comments if anyone does. And please don't forget to hit that like button for me. And I wish you the best. Peace.